Hi, I'm John Basco. I'm with Connected ASCHE, and I'm here with the University of Minnesota the day prior to the Chemi Car competition uh, with uh, Kevin Tapp and Louis Gillespie uh, from the University of Minnesota. So they're going to tell us a bit about uh, the car. What's the name of the car? The car is called the Fink Tank. Okay. Got its name basically, but it's a uh, vast size. Oh, that's how you came up with yeah. it. Was, it was fitting. Okay. And uh, uh, how long have you been prepar preparing uh, for this particular car? Uh, we've been working on it since last September. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, you mean just for nationals or for. Well, I guess, is it the same car that you used in yes. Okay. Yeah. So we've been building it since last September. Uh, since last September. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about. Uh, some stumbling blocks that we had during the time. Yeah, we had quite a few stumbling blocks. Um, the first one that we had was we had an inline disc brake on the car to protect the motor from uh, being corroded with the acid. Okay, so you guys, went, if you don't have any safety issues. Um, but then we found out that the pressure drive process was too much and we weren't able to get to actually run really. Um, so when we took that off, we found out that oh, all um, that we had was because we couldn't consistently build up pressure. Yeah. And then the other thing was that yeah. we found out yeah. that the car was not okay. starting consistently. And we found out that it really depended on where the motor was, um, where it was starting. So we had to figure out exactly where the best part, spot to line it up was and started at that spot every time. Going along with that, uh, the gear ratio for uh, connecting the motor to the axle was uh, difficult to figure out. We, uh, we had a few gears that we started out with, but they didn't, uh, we didn't get the proper torque out of them. So, I mean, playing around with the proper ratio, eventually we had it to work uh, very well. So you feel like, uh, well, obviously you, you won the regionals, which is part of the reason why you're here. Uh, so you feel like you've worked out the kinks since the regional competition? Yeah, the car is pretty consistent. Uh, very robust. It's reliable, so that's, what, that's why I think we are better. Now, I know safety is a good uh, component of the Kemi car. How, how, uh, how do you feel that you're, you're uh, fair with that particular uh, perspective? The judges are very stringent about the uh, pressure uh, ratings for everything. Right now, so, right now we just actually had our safety review, and it turns out I forgot to include the pressure rating on the plastic tube in the, uh, in the end documentation package, so I have to go and get that by tomorrow morning, otherwise we're disqualified. So, But, I mean, everything is rated well above the operating pressure rating, uh, so it's, it's very simple. So it's a matter of rating, so the documentation. Yeah, it's just the documentation. Every, everything is on paper. I'm sure we'll be able to find it. <laughs> Make sure. I said so you feel pretty good. Have you I mean, looked at any of the other teams and what they've been doing? Do you feel like you that they have a good uh, first shot at being uh, in the competition? Well, I personally wasn't able to look at the other teams. I was in the Kevin Jeopardy competition. Oh, right. And so we just we're going to be competing in the finals tonight. But uh, I believe you looked at them. Although a lot of the problems with the other cars is that they never get off the line. Uh, Yourselves. So going with the pressure car, I feel it's very consistent. You know what we're going to get. It'll always work. So in that regard, so. Well, I wish you luck in tomorrow's competition. We're excited to be out there since the 